Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting errors saying the destination path too long error on your Windows computer. So if you're trying to move or copy certain files, you might be getting this error since Microsoft has a folder name restriction in place. So this has been an issue in Windows for a very long time, but in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys a couple of different ways on how to resolve it. So let's just say, for example, we had a folder that had a really long name. All you could do is just to rename it would be to right click on it and then left click on rename, so whatever the shortcut or program is. Then we'd be able to resolve the problem and you'd be able to run the program. However, if you're looking to alternatively enable long path support on your Windows 10 computer, this tutorial will be for that as well. And we're going to start by left clicking on the start button just to open up the start menu. And you want to type in regedit. Best match should come back with regedit. You want to right click on it. Left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. So now you want to navigate over to H key local machine. So either double click on this folder or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the view. Then you want to do the same thing for system. And then you want to go and do that for current control set. Gonna make this a little wider. And you can see the path up at the top here so you guys can follow along. And now you want to go down to control, expand that. Now left click on the file system folder right here. So while you're over here, there should be something on the right side. This is long paths enabled. So I'm gonna make this a little wider here. And you can see this is long paths enabled, like I just said. Double click on it. So value data, you want to set this to 1, so delete the 0 out of here, type 1, and then left click on OK to save. Once you're done doing that, I was just closing out of the registry editor, restart your computer, hopefully that's resolved the issue. And that's pretty much it. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.